and just lastly, I appreciate you for sharing all of that. And then just, but, but lastly, you know, speaking of friendships that you were able to develop throughout the years, Static and Ali, of course, both of them passed away. And I know a lot of fans on our site, they're huge fans of them as well. Can you just share a memory of both of them, maybe individually or collectively? Ali <laughs> A clown, funny, a good spirited type person. Went for Aaliyah, we wouldn't have been with Black Ground. She spoke up for Tim and me, and um, Barry ended up signing us. You know, he, of course, he had a lot of respect for his baby girl. Tim, of course, was extremely talented, so I'm quite sure Barry would have worked with him as a producer. But Aaliyah vouched, and I never forgot that. I never got a chance to thank her for that. I remember one time she caught my. My hotel went back in L.A. playing on the phone. She called the phone. <laughs> it was going, it's all good. It was a song out back then. I forgot the name of the song, but that was one of the lyrics, right? And yeah. it up the phone, right? Now, you got to remember, I don't know this was a little. She did it like about six times. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. And hung up the phone. And so the six time she, six times she did it, I said, Whoever this is, I was going all. Cussing them out. But I didn't know it was Aaliyah. So I hung up the phone after I finished cussing them out. And she was like, she called. She was like, hey, Magoo, what you doing? I said, nothing, what you up to? She said, oh, nothing. She was hanging with Kandata. Um, two, that's two, that's uh, Quincy Jones' um, daughter, Kandata Jones. She was yeah. hanging with her. And I think at the time, Kandata was actually messing with uh, Tupac. She's mm. like, I'm um, hanging with Kandata. I said, yeah, what y'all up to? You say nothing? You want to come hang out? I said, no, I don't know, man. I'm a little upset right now. And she said, why? I said, somebody keep calling my room, telling me some kids all good. She was like, oh, they're going like this. And she did it. And it was her. (laughs) (laughs) And I've never forgot that. But she had asked me if I want to come hang out that night. And I went out. I forgot where the heck we ended up going, but we didn't go out long. But um, yeah, she just was a funny person, man. She was a funny individual, and I and I do miss. I never got over her death. Um, and like I said, I never discussed this with Tim or Missy or with Genuine or any of my friends. I never discussed it with them or any of my family, with any of my ex girlfriends, or even my current girlfriend. I never discussed it with anybody. I never got over that. Um, right. I think it's, I think it would be traumatic for anybody. You know, if it happens to anybody in their family to lose somebody that was so young and so promising like that. And I got to yeah. give her mom, her her dad, God, God rest, in, may rest in peace, and her brother and all her family members a lot of credit because I just couldn't imagine being blood-related to her and how they feel and the way I feel that she wasn't even a blood relative, how hard it was on me and how I couldn't fly, how I couldn't listen to right. a I could not watch any of them videos. I didn't watch Rock the Boat any of that stuff. Um, the lady I was with during that particular time, she would get upset because I was like, I didn't want to see TV or shows. I didn't watch video shows. Then I didn't want to see nothing that was a musical after that woman died like she did. Right. Our record label, and honestly, I, I lost a piece of myself then. Not because me and Aaliyah were like close like she was with some other people, because she was closer to other people, like Kadada and certain other people. Now, she was closer right. with him, definitely. But I had a love and a respect for her just because of how humble she was. Like, I got some hood friends, man, and I remember one of my hood boys named Troy Mitchell. He was like, I introduced him to Aaliyah, and Aaliyah was like, hey, what's up? She was just like a normal person. Like, she was like, dang, man, I never get over when I met her, how she was just a regular chick. She won't even know that star stuff. He said, I could feel her energy. It was so genuine. Like, she was just like that, man. Like, she was just... She didn't deserve that, man. That wasn't for her. That wasn't for her. And, yeah. you know, that's for Static. <laughs> that's my man right there. Me, him, and Black, and Smoke, and Boogeyman all shared an apartment together. And like I told you, player, they might not even realize it, but I still play their record to this day in my car. People get tired of because I don't wore the CD out. I still play it. It's like 20 years later. It's one of my favorite <laughs> yeah. R&B albums of all time. And that's not because they're yeah. my friends. That's because they just was a phenomenal group. Back. They are one of my favorite groups of all time. Like, that's for real. Right. And, you know, living with them, man, and waking up to them singing, and we blazing. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> we blazing. 
and they smoked their blunts, and they were just with some good southern dudes. And they have the kindest heart. They just some good dudes, man. Like, I love all three of them. And that's what I think about when I think about static is the nature of people from Louisville and just the deep south or the mid-south where, I was, where they from and the influence they had on me as people is all I ever think about when I think about static. Now, my heart was heavier when static died. It was heavier because, you know, I was roommates with that guy. You know what I mean? Right. I, I, I I slept in the same areas of the home, you know what I mean, in the apartment that we had. You know, he had his bed over there. Smoke had his bed over there. My bed was in the corner. Black bed was over there. We was all, our beds was all in the living room, you know what I mean? He had a chick over there. I had a girl, you know what I mean? Like, right. we, we, we just did the, the, the young guy stuff, man, with the chicks. And had fun. And so, like, it was like, like you said, college. Like, he was a, a college classmate, but he was my right. man. Like, it's just to this day, man, I'm like, yo, I just wish that I'm trying to hold the tears back thinking about static dying like that because I always say to myself, why did he have to put the needle in the wrong place? My right. man should still be here. He was going to yeah. do another player album, man. Like, I, the world lost an entertainer, but Black and Smokey lost a friend. You know, Miss yeah. Garrett, his mother and his son and his wife and his 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 seed that he his seed that he left here and his family members. You know, I didn't meet all his family, but that dude was a good dude, man. Like that dude was that dude was the salt of the earth. That was a, a right. influential dude. Like he was a wise dude. He could say he could say some of the wisest things you would ever heard of anybody ever say. He wasn't the type of dude that would be looking for conflict. He could kill you with kindness, man. He just was a good dude. Like I really loved that guy. I love, I love Stephen Garrett as a person. Right. I respected Stephen Garrett as a person, and I still love Smoke, which is Jawan Peacock, and I still love Black, which is Benjamin Bush. I right. love them guys, man. We 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 grew to be really really close. When I yeah. had a bad breakup. I went and stayed with Player in Jersey. I was living in VA, and they heard about my bad breakup. They said, hey, man, why don't you come up here and kick it with us, man, instead of sitting down there thinking about it. They helped right. me get over that. And I ended up getting on the Player album, doing some songs with my homeboys. Them dudes just, man, every time I think about I always think about the group when I think about Static. You right. know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I always think about them as a group because they was, I never met them kind of people before. They right. were some humble dudes, man. They were just humble, humble, talented, successful guys. They they introduced me to rap I never really had really heard. I heard of those guys, but they, they really they changed my life. I owe part of my success to player, man. I'm real being real right now. Part of my wow. success is because of player. Player was an right. influence on me because of their hard work. And I, I, I gotta say player, not just say static when I say this because static, black and smoke always worked hard. They would wake up first thing in the morning. That's when my, my memories of them are so many because they're all positive. Because what they right. did inspired me so much. And so when I heard Static and Die like that, man, I ain't no funeral type of guy. I went to the funeral on my own. Right. I had a studio session. I left the studio session I was in in Virginia. We was working with, at the time, we was working with B.O.B., as a matter of fact. This is before B.O.B. came out. Me right. and my producer was working with B.O.B. You know what I'm talking about? The guy from Atlanta, dope rapper from Atlanta. Yep. yep. He was working with him at the time, man, and I left the studio session. They didn't know because I came back like the, the same day. I went to the funeral in Louisville and flew back the same day because I wanted to show my respect, man. Wow. That's how much I love Static. I didn't get, you know, sometimes, you know, the record label will pay for this. You know how I go there, pay for this, pay for that. Nah, I took my yeah. own dime, man, and I paid for my flight. I paid for my rental car. Went and paid my respects to my man. And I just, like, I can't tell you, man. I, I think about that dude every day. Every day. Yeah. Every single day. Super talented. And, hey, you guys have a great song together, that Derby City interlude. We love that song oh, over yeah. here. <laughs> so I love it. I, I know what, though? Yeah. When I told you how they influenced me, you can yeah. hear, when I told you about the the influence that I got from them, 
I'm driving by the ball, six five. I mean, I forgot what I said, but the flow came from them. They didn't tell me how to do the flow, but it came from their influence. Playing eight mm. ball in MJG, right. playing UGK, yep. all them Southern rappers, they they pulled that out of me. That That's was crazy. the way I really wanted to rap. You feel me? A little yep. bit more in, because that was kind of like an R&B record. But that's the way I really wanted to rap once mm. I came out. But I didn't I didn't feel like that was the right lane for me. But I love them dudes, man. They pulled that out of me. That was, that, rap, that rap I did is a depiction on how much fun I had when I was around them and I was going through a breakup. Right. They made me wow. happy. Being around, being around Static and Black made me happy because them dudes was – I'd never seen them dudes, like, not happy. Right. That's crazy.